setbacks really to talk about just it felt good on uh, Thursday in Portugal and I did I've done pretty much everything since so uh, delighted to be fit and uh, raring to go now Mike how have you been settling in yeah, it's been good it's um, it's been brilliant coming back in obviously uh, my main sort of objective really is building relations with the players and, and getting to know the rest of the staff but I think our trip over to uh, Portugal has been I was successful in, in that uh, in those points, but uh, yeah, no, a little bit like Johnny, you know, massively excited. Want to get a game under your belt, to see where we're at, and and build on from there. What do you think are you looking to improve in the Irish game? Um, I think it's a common theme that's been going out through the whole week, really. We, you know, I think Andy's trying to create a, an environment where where players can be themselves, can really go out and express themselves like they do for their provinces, and. Um, you know, I think we've, as a group of coaches, got to jump on the back of that as well and, and let those players do what they're good at. And it's, uh, it's giving them the freedom to do that. So, um, like I say, you know, it's down to the relationships that, that we have with the players and building that trust and, and, and letting them do what they're good at. Are you enjoying that approach, uh, Johnny? What, what's that like? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, you know, it's always great when you get uh, coaches of, of good caliber in, a uh, player, you know, brilliant text player that, that has been there and done it and uh, I'm always keen to keep learning like all the all the players are and it's great to have a, a guy that's coached against us you can you can sort of say you know what what were you saying last year when you're playing against us and in, in Rome or the year before you know what I mean and we can we can pick his brain as well but it's uh, it's always great to get fresh voices and to um, you know I just think it, it gives you that little bit extra and, and you know you need to prove yourself all over again the scrum half position was one which was talked about a lot leading up to Andy announcing the team. Uh, do you think the increased competition uh, would be good for Connor? Yeah, I think competition is is what every good side relies on. You know, I've seen it with with uh, with Leinster especially um, when you when you've got guys that are uh, you know coming up whether it's behind you or you know with you and uh, you're all fighting for one place. It spurs you on. And, um, but Connor's always been very self-driven from day one. Um, Concentrates on himself, and uh, yeah, he's he's looked sharp. Um, you know, over the last over the last ten days, like all the nines have. You know, it's, it's you know you feel for Luke, who trained the house down last week, uh, especially and on early this week, and uh, he's he's gone home today. You know what I mean? So uh, we're very lucky to to have the, the nines that we do, and even you know over the Christmas camp, we have Caelan Blade and Jameson Gibson Park in here as well, who have been in good form themselves. So uh, we're blessed to have the quality and numbers of, of nines that we do. Is there a fresh feel to the squad despite by ten starters from the New Zealand game? Uh, yeah, it, do, it does feel it feels new. Um, obviously, with the, with the new coaches, the way we set the week is totally different. Um, in terms of how we run things, is totally different. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been new and fresh, and it's been good. And the, the fresh faces have, have come in and given us given us lots of energy and and, and brought a real uh, the en energy is really the right word to the group. There's a new look Scotland uh, team coming here with the task of looking to upset you guys for the first time in 10 years in Dublin. What are you kind of expecting from Like we always expect when we play Scotland, uh, incredibly tough game, uh, physical, uh, you know, they like to play quick um, under, under Gregor Times and they've all tried to do that so uh, we need to be ready for, for them. They've got some outstanding individual players um, and uh, yeah, we'll have to be you know, close to our best to, to put out a good performance against them and to get a couple of the right results. What's the campus like here, Johnny, compared to Carlton? Why is it better if, if it is? Uh, for have, you, have you been around to see the facilities? Not yet, no. Dave doesn't show you yet, no. Yeah, if you, got, if you got a chance to go and look at the facilities, it's incredible. The, the indoor pitch, um, the gym, uh, the, the meeting rooms, everything is, is top quality. So it's good to stay in Carlton and we do a little bit there and then we come out here you know, early in the morning, spend our days here, and then, then back to Cardiff. So we've got the best of both worlds at the moment. Are you it's great. outside as much as you're inside for that big train pitch? It looks lovely in the indoor one, but is it too comfortable? Uh, we play outdoors, so we're going to do the majority of our training outdoors. Uh, 
we trained outdoor today, so we we started off indoors, getting a few things right uh, with organisational stuff, and then went out to the you know the wind and the and the rain. Mike, um, just uh, on Jacob Stockdale, he's a player maybe who didn't reach his own high standards during the World Cup. You, you talk about wanting players to express themselves and creating that kind of environment. Do you think he's the kind of player who might really thrive with this new setup? Yeah, I mean it's. Um He's, he's definitely got the attributes to, to be a world-class winger and he's proved that he is a world-class winger. So, you know, people at that, or players at that sort of age do dip in form and you learn and you keep bouncing bouncing back up. So so we do expect a, a huge bounce back from, from Jacob and, and some of the players that with the, with on the back of that uh, the World Cup. But, um, you know, he's a class player. He's got class players inside him. And... Um, I think that's the crucial bit is, is giving him the time and the space on the ball that he can do what he's he's very, very good at and that's something that we need to get right inside of him. And you know, he can do the rest. And Johnny, just on um, my sorry, your coach Andy Farrell said during the week that you wanted to kind of get that aggression in the Irish team, I suppose the old traditional values. And I know we can talk a lot about game plans and skill and technique, all that kind of stuff. Is that something you think that's within this match day squad on Saturday that Ireland can't as well as doing all the, the, the important stuff, but just find that bit of aggression, maybe. Yeah, that's the game, isn't it? Uh, you know, obviously the basics, the fundamentals of the game never change, and you need to have that um, physicality and um, sort of aggressive mindset, and, and we need to bring that at the weekend. Uh, I know a lot has been made over, do we have a dog in the, the team and stuff like that, but uh, in the modern game, you just need guys that are willing to work hard, and yeah, you have to have that intent that you, that you spoke about, but uh, you know, we'll hopefully uh, show a little bit of that at the weekend. Okay, first time you're um, as an Irish captain for Six Nations. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's been a it's been a definitely different build up for for me. Uh, you know, there's a lot of extra things that go with being the captain, but uh, I've I've enjoyed it thoroughly. You know, lots of extra meetings, lots of um, you know prepping the way Andy wants us to to drive the group. You know, very player driven, and uh, you know, with, with the clear direction I had to that. But uh, you know, it's it's been a little bit of extra work, but I've I've enjoyed it, and uh, I think all the other guys in the in the leadership group have have enjoyed it. And um, yeah, we we've, we've built nicely up to this point, but. The thing that we can learn from the World Cup is that it counts for nothing really once, once Saturday comes. You can have a brilliant week's prep or a very special camp and uh, you know, it doesn't guarantee you anything. Johnny, just wondered how um, John Kenny's been since the news that he's starting on the bench and just what he'll bring if he comes on. Yeah, he's been, he's been fantastic since he came in. Um, you know, we spoke about when the team is picked and the 23 is picked that you know the most important thing is the team and uh, all the guys that were disappointed not to be starting or disappointed not to be in the 23 have reacted uh, unbelievably you wouldn't have expected anything else from from the caliber or the quality of people that we have in the group and, and that was obviously one of Faz's big things was when he was selecting he wanted guys that were in to buy in and, and john has done that he's been he's trained brilliantly and uh, i'm sure he'll He'll add a little piece off the bench, uh, whatever time he, he does come on. But it's a 23-man game these days, and uh, you know I'm sure he'll play a big part. Okay, we we'll just go here and we we'll finish there, okay? Johnny, um, Scotland obviously named their team today. Adam Hastings coming in for Finn Russell. How do you think the, the Finn Russell incident will affect Scotland, and how do you sort of rate um, Adam Hastings as, as a replacement? I think it's like for like, really, isn't it? It's uh, the, the, when you talk about Finn Russell's strengths. You know, when you're talking about Adam Hastings' strengths, it's, it's they're all the same. Uh, arguably, he, he's you know because he's been playing in Scotland and he's been playing well. You know, he arguably could have started. They might have started both of them in, in that 10, 12 uh, position. So uh, yeah, look, I don't know how it will disrupt them or not disrupt them. They've they've sort of played it down, I think, a little bit, and uh, they seem to be happy with with where they're at. And um, yeah, he's a quality player and one that we're going to have to be. You know, fully switched on for because he, he has a full bag of tricks that uh, he can pull out. Okay. You're giving the uh, team uh, from uh, one to hundred mark where the
they come to give the percentage. Our team. Mm. I, can I answer that on Saturday? <laughs> Saturday at 7 o'clock, I'll answer. <laughs> Today? 100. <laughs> okay, folks, we're switching to the embargo written word section. Okay, so count down the back and we'll switch into the